Hi friends, Linda here. I am walking in the forest today. I think I'm coming down with something and my ears are like all stuffy. So I just, I just decided to go for a walk before I'm completely sick with whatever's coming on. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is here. And no people, which is perfect. I think I lost Mark again because he is somewhere in front of me. I'll show you. So he's quite far away from where I am. And there's broken tree branches everywhere. I am looking for some wild garlic today because I do really want to try uh, wild garlic pesto. I have never had it before, but finding wild garlic is really, really, really hard, especially in south of UK, where there's not enough forests around. So there's not enough places for it to grow. And then if I find it, I will need to figure out if the patch is big enough that I could actually harvest from it. Or is it going to be like too small and you can't forage from it? Decisions. That is, if I fi find it at all, I might not. Ooh. It is a beautiful day though. Everyone should go out. <laughs> at least once this spring. Wood sorrel. It's edible. It's yummy. <laughs> We've been walking for some time now and Mark asked me why this side was green and that side isn't, as you could see, behind the trees. And I needed to explain it to him that these guys are the, the leafy trees with leaves and they drop the leaves in the autumn and they suffocate everything that's grown on the bottom. <laughs> well, these guys are evergreens up there, evergreens, and they don't drop that many needles. Hence, there's more greenery underneath them, and there's more chance of anything surviving. Yeah, so evergreens usually rely on cold winters because they can keep the leaves. <laughs> but there's no cold winters here, so not that many evergreens. I'm just gonna grab my empty basket because I haven't found anything yet and we're just gonna keep going. It's gonna turn out to be not a foraging session but a really nice walk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, success. While I was yammering on about the evergreen trees and stuff and talking, Mark found them. They're here. I would say that there's about 20 plants which means I'll not pick any Someone's shooting something. Probably clay pigeons. Uh, we are in a forest near a state, so there's that. But yeah, 
There's about 20 plants. The patch is not big enough. I did rub a leaf and smell it and it smells of garlic. So yay, they're here, but there's too few to pick and you need to forage responsibly. We're not doing it. <laughs> I am not picking any <laughs> because I will just kill this patch otherwise. <laughs> So the patch is approximation from there, there, you can see some of them here, and then there's a couple sad ones here. <laughs> so that is it. I have found them, which is perfect. I know that they're here, which is glorious. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm, um, I'm gonna cut into the forest there because I think it's very green. Let me just, oh my God. There's some everywhere, like from time to time, there's one or two I can see underneath my feet. Ow. There's more. Oh, there's a bigger patch. Okay. This patch here. Like here. There you go. Still very small. And no, wait. It keeps going up there. I can see it. Difference. I'll just walk a bit further away from the road to see if it actually is extending that far and if it is and I'm gonna take some for pesto yes okay we have found more actually they extend all the way up there to the top of the mountain well to the top of the hill hill mountain don't know Look. I think half of this is wild garlic so it's great but the other side of it is this plant. It has like two leaves like this. Yeah, there you go. Grows like that. Don't eat that. <laughs> I went on a spoon carving course in the forest, which was really cool. And it was led by this guy named Sam and um, yeah, he he's doing your foraging courses as well and this plant is called Lords and Ladies and if you eat it, it might kill you because it irritates your nose, tongue, lips, throat to the point where you swell up and you might suffocate. <laughs> so yeah, don't eat it. But I'm just gonna collect like not many, probably enough for supper tonight um, of wild garlic.
I've collected a few. I think I'll collect a little bit more from up there. I'm trying not to climb through the middle of it and I'm keeping at the edges because if you climb through the middle and everyone does it then you destroy it basically. By law you're not allowed to take bulbs that are growing underneath because it will destroy the patch. But you can take some leaves in moderation for basically for your self-use, no commercial use. Nah. And then you can see these little little like light green ones here. Like those ones are adults and those are dark green. And these are like lighter green and these are babies. I think that these ones have seeded from probably last year and they are just coming up and they'll be ready next year or year after that. I don't know. I don't know the life cycle of wild garlic but yeah, I just don't want to trample through this, <laughs> so I'm just going to go around <laughs> all of it to get to the top of it and see how far this patch extends. <laughs> Okay, I have gotten all of this. I think that's going to be plenty for me and Mark for a supper because I am just testing it out and seeing if I like wild, wild garlic pesto. And I will leave the rest of these here for the next person. Forage responsibly. <laughs> don't take too much and don't trample it and everything else. <laughs> And don't kill the babies. I'm trying not to kill the babies so hard. <laughs> Talking about location of wild garlic, I did my research and basically it grows where there are streams or it's damp, like consistently. So when we didn't find any on top of the hill, we just started climbing down and then we found it on the bottom of the hill. Wink wink, nudge nudge. If you're looking for wild garlic, you know where to find it. Go down. <laughs> Keep going down in the ravines, next to the streams, and follow your nose because it smells like garlic. Definitely. We've been walking really, really fast and really hard and we're both knackered and done. I just wanted to show you this plant. It's called gorse and it blooms with these... Ow, ow. It has thorns. It's literally made out of thorns. But it has these little yellow flowers that are amazing in the tea. And when you collect enough of them, they smell like coconut and it tastes like coconut. That coconut tea. This plant grows everywhere on the seaside. It's basically very invasive and you can't get rid of it. <laughs> but in the same time, it blooms all year round, pretty much. So you can find new blooms all of the time. And it's one of my favorite teas. So you know. I'm home now. And, and I'm thinking that we're gonna have a pasta, like I have a pot boiling already. I have washed my 
well garlic and I weighed it and it's 50 grams <laughs> the recipe asks for 100 so we're gonna half the recipe besides I do not have pine nuts I have hazelnuts um, so I found a recipe that asks for hazelnuts I hope it's gonna be easy so basically I have more garlic lemon parmesan and hazelnuts from my cooking challenge you know you just keep munching on them all of the time I just need to blend everything together apparently I have decided to go with the big boys because I don't think that the small one will actually uh, go down with the weight so I just need to bl blend this a bit and then add 25 grams of grated parmesan which is about this much <laughs> and then about 25 grams of grated hazelnut and then lemon, salt, olive oil and pepper to taste I don't know how it's gonna taste so bear with me They are flying! in the big one. Let's try the small one and see if it actually works. Ah. Oh, I love this cheese. It's so easy grated. <laughs> Definitely smells like garlic. Wow. Let's try blending it again. <laughs> Maybe with the cheese it's gonna actually work better. It will have more substance because it just bruised the leaves. Still not moving. So now we're gonna add 25 grams of chopped almond um, hazelnuts. So, hopefully, it will have more substance. Blend, please, blend. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but um, just gonna pop it on top. Not too much because I tasted it. It's quite strong. It tastes like garlic and a lot of lemon. So I'm thinking that's probably enough. And that's basically my supper now. I'm gonna try to feed this to Mark and see how it goes. So it's basically pasta with pesto and some halloumi so accidentally vegetarian <laughs> don't care i am so sick now <clears throat> i can feel it coming on it's just like my bones are breaking and it's just everywhere it's like i really want to eat and just go to sleep now thank you very much for hanging out with me today and going for a walk I hoped that I would feel better by now, but I am not. So this cold <coughs> is not shifting. <laughs> so thank you. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.